Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Will It Go Through. This time we're going to be shooting some ceramic tile. Now I know that ceramic is a super hard surface and it will break but withstand a lot of force. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put some ceramic tile to the test. And so the tile we have today is probably quarter inch thick at least, maybe a little less. We have some squares and some other cutout pieces. We also have this thick rubber mat. It's got to be, I don't know, three eighths of an inch thick. We're going to put it with this tile and we'll put that up against some plywood and see if we can stop bullets from going through all three of those layers. We'll keep this white Corex in the back and that way we'll be able to see any bullet holes real nice and clear. Okay, so here's the setup. We have the tile, the rubber mat, plywood, Corex in the back. Let's see if we can shoot through this thing. So I think we'll start out with the Glock 19X chambered in 9mm shooting FMJ. Alright, here we go, 9mm. Alright, so it left a nice stain there. But it did not go into this rubber mat at all. It broke the tile. Now I think the tile took the brunt of that impact there. But let's move on. Alright, so the pistol didn't want to do it. So I think we move up to one of these bad boys. Of course we got the Lynx 12. And the AR-15. I think I brought slugs. One ounce slugs for the 12 gauge. And of course we got regular rounds for the AR. I vote we try the AR first. All right, here we go, AR-15. So it turns out, went right through the ceramic tile, through the rubber mat, through the wood, our core X and it even went through the plywood in the back so now at least we know it won't stop that but will a one ounce slug go through that rubber mat so because I got this red dot on here and I'm not exactly I have definitely not sighted it in to this gun I'm gonna fire off a couple of shots at these targets and see kind of where it's at first so I got two rounds of uh, bird shot to see where I'm at and then one slug to fire at the target. So let's see what it does here. I'll aim at the uh, one on the bottom there, right at the bottom of the stick. Definitely blew it up. Uh, let's try the one over here. I think it's probably pretty close. Let's move over here and shoot the target. Boom! Felt that in the shoulder. Alright, well, I see a large hole in the rubber. And it looks like that's where it hit on the tile. Man, I nailed right next to the uh, last rifle round. But you can clearly see two holes in the Corex in the back. Two holes here. All right, so I got one more big piece here, two more full tiles, and a few fairly large pieces of tile here. I think we stack them all up next to each other and see if we can make it through everything. What do you think, Nick? Uh, no, I don't think it will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go either. I know that tile's hard. We've been going through one layer, but we're gonna stack it up this time. All right, so here's what we got. We got a clay pigeon, and then seven layers of tile compounded with the rubber and the plywood. What do you think, guys? All right, let's see what we can do to that stack there. Okay, 
Okay, so we still have one, two, three, four complete and one broke here. So it took three layers of tile to stop the AR-15 chambered in 223. But you know we can't end it there. We have more guns. All right, next up, Nick brought his PSL, AKA the Dragonov, chambered in 7.62 x 54R. All right, so this is a 223 round. This is what I've been shooting out of my AR-15. Next, we're gonna be shooting this round. Now, this is the 7.62 by 54R. Let's see the difference. All right, so this time we got one, two, three, four, five, six layers. And that guy. All right, Nick. Let's see if you can hit this bad boy, huh? I think you hit it. So that 76254R broke every single tile, but did not make a hole in the rubber. That tile, man, is tough stuff. All right, so our pieces of tile are getting kind of small now, but what we have here is 12 layers of tile and one more of these bad boys. Damn! <laughs> All right, well, that one ounce slug blew up every piece of tile we had here. Didn't go through the rubber. So now we know exactly what ceramic can do. Takes about three layers, stop an AR-15. Takes about seven or eight layers to stop, to stop a Dragonov 7.62 by 54R. And uh, yeah, now you know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, make sure you check out all the other videos on my channel and uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.